Hi there, Barry Longdon here again. Today I'm going to show you how to access Microsoft Classroom and then how to access your assignments and then complete them um, as a student today. So the first thing I want to go over is which browser you should use. I would recommend that you use the Mozilla Firefox browser. It tends to work the best. So if you don't already have that on your taskbar, the way you access it is to go down to the Windows button in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Click on that and then access Mozilla Firefox right here on this little tile. So once you click on that, it'll open up a, a new browser for you. You'll probably notice as a student, you'll have three different tabs. The first of which will be your uh, Office 365 login tab. The second one will be your Skyward login screen. And then the final one will be your Rapid City Area Schools District website. So click on that first tab. We're going to log in there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your username that you use to log into your computer. So that is the first initial, last initial, and then that four digit number that you have. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the at k12.sd.us after that. That'll be your username. Once you put that in, it's going to redirect you to this blue page that I'm on right now. Once you're here, you'll type in your password. That will be the first initial, last initial, a dash, then that five digit number that goes with that. So if you need to ask your teacher, ask for them for that information. So I'll log in right now as me. What this will do now is it will redirect you to the home page on Office 365 where all those initial tiles will be. And what we're interested in today is classroom. So once you're inside of here, go ahead and click on classroom. This will open up a new tab your Microsoft Classroom interface will open and it will load all of the classes that you're currently taking. Okay, so now that we're here, notice that I have a list of assignments, but I wanna focus on which class I'm doing. So what you're going to need to do is look over here on the far left, find the class that you're going to be accessing assignments for. So I'm going to access this test section 01. Notice, I'm a student in this class, so I have a to-do tab and a pass tab underneath the assignment section. Now, to access your assignments, you'll need to either do it under the to-do section or the pass section. So I'm going to go to pass since all of my assignments are past due. I'll scroll down and I'll find this social studies map test, okay? So when you click on that, you will notice that you've got a couple of tabs here for resources and my work. Sometimes you'll have resources like um, a PDF or an image or a video file that you need to look at, but otherwise you'll have um, different files. So like, for example, this teacher has given me the social studies map to work on. So this is an interactive document. What I can do is I can click on this and I can edit it right here in the browser. Also notice that I can add an existing file from my um, OneDrive, or I can create a brand new file and that will put it into my OneDrive as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the social studies map and I'll show you how we can edit this file. This will open up a new tab. It will open up what's called Word Online. If you've never seen that before, it's a file that allows you to work on Word documents inside of Office 365 in the browser. So this is probably the most important part about how you access your assignments. So notice here, I can't actually type anything or edit anything right now. What you need to do is go up to the Edit Document drop-down menu in the top right-hand corner of your screen, click on that, and notice you've got two choices. You have Edit in Word or Edit in Browser. For our purposes, we will never choose Edit in Word. And the reason for that is because if we don't edit in Browser, all of our work will not be saved automatically to our OneDrive and therefore be accessible anywhere else except for on that computer. So we're going to make sure we choose Edit in Browser every single time. And I would highly recommend using this option even when you're on your own personal device, such as like a home PC or a tablet or even a smartphone. So once you click on edit in browser, it will uh, refresh the page. And now I should be able to edit this document, no problem. Notice now I have an insertion pointer right here. I have a cursor that allows me to type and I can start typing whatever I want to. So you can start typing whatever you like to right now. 
Now, I also recommend that you click up here and notice it saved it as social studies map, but it might be more helpful if you give it a more descriptive name, maybe put your last name on there to help out. It's always a good idea, especially with brand new documents to name them something different because otherwise they'll be like document one, document two, which doesn't help you or your teacher know what they are. So make sure it's a descriptive name and typically your teacher will give you what that name is. So then that will save automatically. And notice now, I don't actually have to save anything. It says we're automatically saving your changes. So anytime you're doing an assignment inside of Microsoft Classroom, it will automatically save and it will update it based on what we've done so far. So notice I said, hello world. If I were to close out this assignment, I can now go back, click on the assignment again, and now it should be updated with the new content I just put in, which you can see right there on my screen, okay? All right, so basically all you have to do now is if you want to access this on any other computer or if you want to reaccess it using the same computer, all you have to do is go into Office 365, click on Microsoft Classroom, and then click on the assignment. And you can edit it right in the browser and it will update for you automatically. All right, thanks for stopping in. Bye.